pretty good day today. I've been up to Murray Bridge to see uh, both the Jackson's 4x4 people and the Canopy people and the, all the GVM stuff's nearly in. Last thing remaining is the Radius Arms from J Max. They're going in today. And then I went across to see the canopy and they've actually started it. The tray is much further progressed than I thought it would be. Looks like it'll be ready in a couple of weeks, which is exciting. And that means that the temporary tray that I did buy, oh, I'm just gonna have to sell it on eBay. Uh, that was, turned out to be a complete waste of time. I found an old tray off a, uh, I think it was a Ford Ranger, cut it down, tarred it up, looked really good because I wasn't gonna have anything until Christmas. You know, so that was like four or five months with no tray. So I thought I'd buy a second hand one. So it looks like I've got to sell that without ever having used it, it's a bit of a waste. Um, but the new tray will be ready in a couple of weeks. I've got quite a few good shots of the uh, suspension they fitted, mainly the, the parabolics on the back and the remote res BP51s. They look really good, seems like quite a nice fit. And on the front, we've just got the stand, we've got BP51s just with um, slightly upgraded springs. The tyres now look a little bit uh, small because once it's lifted two inches, the standard tyres just shrink. Um, but uh, we'll cure that with the, the maxis that I've got sitting over here in the shed. I also had a look inside. It's the first time I've seen it since Toyota have done the prep work. So the, the pre-delivery work rather. And so it's got seat covers on. The only Toyota seat covers. I thought about getting black ducks, but Toyota have sort of thrown these in as part of the deal and I've got the old man wind um, deflectors down the side so I can drive along with the window down a little bit and not get water and, and wind coming in the car. And they both look pretty good actually. Over at the Jackson's Canopy factory, uh, they took me for a bit of a guided tour. They're building a whole new factory with a new mezzanine level and hugely extended floor plan. Um, so I can actually see the, the small bits. They've got the, the base has all been laid out and ready. The, the bit that goes around the top, the lifting roof that goes up and down, that's all been made, um, which looks good. And I had a look, quick look where the tray manufacturing was going on and they've reasonably progressed on that. They've made all the boxes for it. I've got the under tray slider with the 70 litre water tank, that's all done. And they just got to start to make the actual, the main framing for the tray now, which I think is going to happen this week and early next week. So much further progressed than I thought they'd be. And yeah, pretty happy to see all that. And the other thing we decided was there's no point trucking the, the uh, car all the way back to Mount Barker, which is about an hour, waiting a week, even though it could be registered, then shipping it all the way back to Murray Bridge to have the tray put on. So we've agreed that we'll just hang on to it up in Murray Bridge. They'll transfer it between themselves. I think I'm just on trader plates, get the tray fitted, then it'll come back to Mount Barker and get registered and then they'll hand it over to me. That's about it on the Jackson side of things. Pull a halt to it here. Thanks a lot, see you later. Well, that was a crap ending. Sorry about that. Last night it was four degrees. The shed was locked up. I'd had dinner, had a shower. Couldn't be bothered going out there again. So here we are the next day, just finishing it off. Uh, it's still an, uh, an interesting thing talking to a camera. I don't know why, but there's something strange. As soon as the camera starts recording, lose lose your ability to string words together. Anyway, that's the end of this one and uh, hopefully we'll do better with the next one. See ya. Ah, oh, bugger, I just realised I've forgotten to put in anything about the airbags on the rear suspension. I've got a quick bit of video on how they attach and what they look like, so I'll just drop it in here and then that really will be the end of the video.